In today's style file, from prim and proper to fashionable and feminine, this spring the statement collar is one of the season's biggest hits, but is this ultra feminine style for you? Stylist Rachel Bagley with Cardigan Empire is joining me with advice for anyone wanting to try this oversized, exaggerated accessory. Can I call it yeah, that? We can call it an accessory. I mean, in most cases, attached yeah. to the shirt. You can't actually detach them. There's all kinds of different ways to do it, but I like thinking of it as an accessory. I sort it's of, a big pop. It is. It's a big statement. I sort of giggle because we announced this, I think you and I, in this very <clears> spot two years ago. For sure. But then we slipped into leggings and pajamas for two years. I know. Who wants to get out? Right. Like, do and, we really have to leave? But it's determined to come back. The statement collar, are you liking it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. But I'm too. all about the ruffle and the over the top. And, you know, there's all kinds of different ways to interpret it, though. Let's get one thing out of the way for the woman out there saying, okay, I might try it and I don't want to look like a pioneer. Love them, appreciate yeah, them. Yeah. We love the pioneers, but not everybody wants to look like a yes. pioneer. What's, I get it. What's the biggest difference between stylish and pioneer? So the more details and the more ruffles and the more lace and the bigger you go, the more you're going to lean in that direction. Direction. Okay. So if you are hesitant and trying out this trend, go for things that are more monochromatic, fewer detail, smaller scale. Yeah. Just scale it back. There's a lot of different, there's a big range on so how you can interpret So simplicity will be your yeah. friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm here for it, though. Yeah, I'm like I you. I love it. Bigger the better, right? Yeah. Let's talk about this first look, probably my favorite. Oh, I know. And this is Target. We all love Target. Thank you, Target. Thank you, Target. And I love that this one, we're taking in prints, we're playing with the sleeve, we've added ruffles, we've got embroidery. Like... This is go big or go home. Yes. Like, nobody is afraid. And there's all kinds of different ways you can interpret it. Like, you can go big with the round ones. You can go square. You can go pointed. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of play with it on your body type. But this one comes in multiple prints and colors. Super fun. I wanted to talk about the color because, yes, big and exaggerated. Mm -hmm. And, yes, there's detail. But you talked about contrast being more right. noticeable. Since this one is the same color as the shirt, right. it's actually not as bold as some of the ones that are all white against a brighter background. Kind of blends. Mm -hmm. Are we keeping the pants the rest of the look more simple yeah you can definitely how I recommend doing this one is go a little bit more modern and a little bit more masculine on the bottom okay we don't need to go like frills and all those kinds of things so my just prairie skirt the, with yeah, my you Peter can leave Pan your collar. prairie skirt at home <laughs> okay. you know just some jeans are gonna be super simple you can do the olive greens you can do something natural something mm -hmm. grounding um, you can even do menswear trousers those are super fun with it too. all right this next look a little more daring perhaps. yes absolutely so this one is a little bit more business oriented but still having a little bit of fun on the creative side and you've got that distinct collar right this is a nice fit and then we've paired it with those menswear trousers there it is and that like adds like a little bit yin and yang right mm -hmm. so we've got the sweetness up top and mm -hmm. then we've got the more masculine side on the mm -hmm. bottom it creates a nice balance so you don't feel like overly sweet yeah right? it doesn't yeah. give you a toothache you also like pairing this trend with another big spring movement which is the sweater vest oh yeah so this is one that like this one actually has a sweater vest like built into it oh, like nice. make it easy for us but you can easily add a sweater vest on top of this because a lot of them are already paired with those big you know poofy sleeves uh -huh. and so you know it adds some dynamism it offers you another opportunity to put on that vest the other one that it's easy to layer with as long as the sleeves aren't too big is a lady jacket's lapel list it's flat. Oh, sure. It's going to allow you to pop that collar underneath and it's going to look really cute so too. So it just peeks out. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to call this next top maybe the gateway drug. Yeah, the this is a collar. good gateway drug. This is really cute. Yeah, Madewell has done a good job here. And what I like about this one is especially if you're worried about having broad shoulders or a big chest, this is the way to go. It's a sweatshirt. One, yeah, it's a sweatshirt. Like you can wear this to, you know, pick up the kids from carpool. This is soccer Saturday. Right, yeah, cute. yeah. Just throw on some sneaks with this. So with the drop shoulder, that's going to make it so you're not, you know, as large and in charge, you know, like football player status uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. And then because the collar is a little bit more pointed, yeah. it's it just kind of draws everything back in, so you don't feel so over the top. It's very subtle. I it's very sweet. I love still. that. Different colors, or is this the color? Um, I think this one only comes in this color, I but like there's it. lots of options out there. You're I seeing like this it. everywhere. All right, this next look. My primary kids every Sunday. I'm the chorister. I oh, yeah. Establish. yeah. You're, the, the, you're the star of I'm primary. the mascot mm -hmm. of my congregation. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll say it. Uh, but they always poke fun at me because they always say, you say every 
every song's your favorite song. And I kind of feel like that about these outfits because I'm about to say this is my favorite outfit, but I think I already said that. Yeah. Well, no, we can have so okay. many favorites. It's I like love kids. This. I we love. We can this. have as many favorites as we want. What I love about this one is this is a detachable collar. Yes. So I've had this shirt sitting in the back of my closet for <gasps> I don't know how long, okay. and now it's brand new because I added a collar to it. Look at this. And what's nice about this is this is another easy way to go in because you've got that V opening. It yeah. doesn't feel, you know, you're breaking your upper body into sections. Uh -huh. So it's just like a V-neck or a scoop. But the great thing about this one is if you have <gasps> a crew neck, it also works with that. So you've got like the little Peter Pan. So it switches Look at around. That story is so handy. I really loved that one. Now, so super whoops, whoops we lost a purse. It's Mic okay. drop, bag drop, it's all the same. <laughs> um, give us permission, Rach. Where would we wear this? It's a little more Loud, it's a little more fancy. Right. So you could pair this with a skirt, take okay. it to church, right? Okay. Like I would wear this on a date with my husband. Sure. You know, like these, and this, you honestly could put it with a lot more simple things and put it with a t-shirt or something and go out to brunch with the girls. Okay. You know what I mean? And is there a difference between, I referenced Peter Pan collar earlier. Is there a difference stylistically between a statement collar and a Peter Pan collar? You know, Peter Pan collar is a statement collar. It's like an example within a bigger category. Okay. So Peter Pan.